Earlier this month on a routine dig in Israel, Miss Jensen, Mr. Yahalum, and myself unearthed the remains of a very large human skull containing a river stone embedded in the frontal nasal suture. This discovery was made in Gath, the ancient birthplace of Goliath. And I'm gonna quit talking about it and let you be the judge. I want you to find the home addresses of everyone involved in this broadcast. And I want you to go to their homes and put a dead dog in each one of their cars. Uh, first question right over here. How do you respond to critics who claim this is all a big hoax? Well, I invite critics everywhere to take a good, hard look at the evidence and uh, make a decision. Bone shavings from the skull will soon be taken to the lab for radiocarbon analysis. So you see, it's all scientific. Tell them the truth, Dan. What? I think you should really tell the truth. <laughs> Tell them how we were chased by three Al-Qaeda guys on motorcycles. Oh, yeah, well, I, I tried to forget about that. It was, uh... Will you please tell us about this run-in with Al-Qaeda? Uh... Well, yes, as you already know, word of our discovery spread quickly, and not ten minutes after we were on the road with the skull, we were followed by three masked men on motorcycles with AK-47s. With eight K-47s, uh, I immediately took evasive action and I knocked all three of them off the road. What Al-Qaeda would want with the skull of a Philistine, I have no idea. They're possibly cloning an army of giant Al-Qaeda guys. Uh, what makes you think they were from Al-Qaeda? Well, I've received numerous death threats since the incident that uh, confirmed they were indeed Al-Qaeda operatives. Indeed, they were wearing those crazy hats. <laughs>